And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City up against Inter. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? So the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Inter's lineup is as follows. Samir Handanovic begins between the posts. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Stefan de Vrij in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club kings of Europe? Barella. Intelligent threaded pass here. But mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time. Well, Phil Foden, a player who I think was born to wow the crowd. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to be tightly marked today because in the last match, he was outstanding. He got his two goals, but it was his general play that was brilliant. And I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. And he's taken it away. Brozovic. Barella. Excellent ball over the top. Inter have given away possession. Bernardo Silva. Rodri. On to Jesus. And can they prize them open now? Walker. Now with Jesus. How about the cross? And it's Gabriel Jesus. Rodri. Well, not the end result he had in mind. Well, we know he can hit them from that sort of range, but that was a poor effort in the end. Foden Bernardo Silva effective challenge 
Chalanolu. Martinez. Dzeko. Might be a chance here. Oh, a goal! Inter have done it! They've taken the lead in this Champions League final. Wonderful scenes. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. <laughs> Underway once again with Inter in front. <laughs> Rodri. Now a potentially dangerous position for Sissi. And Bernardo Silva has it. Oh, couldn't pull them level. Well, they certainly should be level. That was a great opportunity to score. Well, there you can see Inter haven't been able to control the possession, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Rodri are certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Must be! Still possibilities. Oh, it's a wild, wild finish. Silva and scope for them to produce something exciting Gabriel Jesus oh the equaliser just what they needed and the dream remains very much alive Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. And it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Pumps clear. Martinez. And Grealish. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match.
This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club king? Dzeko. Into the second half then, in this battle for Champions League glory. Silva. And he's got the beating of his opponent. And delivered by Bernardo Silva here. Oh, could be. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. to get the ball rolling again it's going to be interesting to see whether or not that goal stings them into action Martinez Dzeko and here's Chalanoru and we saw the situation developing Rodri Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Foden. Jesus. Might be onto something with that ball. Moving the ball forward with purpose. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Gundogan and so 30 minutes left for play in this one Kevin De Bruyne Foden Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Silva. Here's Grealish. And back with Grealish. Good-looking ball. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Here's Bernardo Silva. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, here's the replay, and you just have to admire the patience of the passing as they look for that defence-splitting ball. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Van Perisic Alessandro Bastoni Barella has it Well as the stats confirm City have controlled the ball and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly their pressing has been excellent and they just haven't stopped working it's been a fantastic performance up to now well, possibilities in the centre. Grealish. De Bruyne. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating.
Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Well, the action underway again. So comfortable for City, it's turning into a trouncing. Chalanolu. Ivan Perisic. Well, they no longer have the ball. Foden. De Bruyne. It's with Gundogan. De Bruyne. Excellent passing. And a long way out here. Really well hit, but just too much height on it. Substitution time it is here. Well, as we get close to hearing the final whistle, Manchester City dominant, Manchester City excellent. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something, but it stopped a promising attack in its tracks, and you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And yellow it is, a booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Good effort here! A really good save, and he held on to it for good measure. Martinez. Martinez. And there it is! Full time! Manchester City Champions League winners! Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester City. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice.